Our video is about Father Divine, also known as George Baker. Little is known about George Baker's early life. There are many theories of his childhood. Some believe he was born in the Deep South, most likely in Georgia, as the son of sharecroppers. He indefinitely spoke little of his childhood or any background at all. Father Divine was born on 1877 in Hutchinson Island, Georgia. And he passed away of natural causes on September 10, 1965 in Philadelphia. Father Divine was married to two women. This is Penina, and their reason for splitting is unknown, but he later remarried to Edna Rose Richings, and they were both referred to as Mother Divine. Father Divine's parents were freed African-American slaves. Father Divine thrived during the Great Depression due to his farming. He claimed he saw no poor people around him because he was always there for them and he helped them when they were in need. During the Great Depression, he sold home-cooked meals and he would feed up to 300 people a day. During the Great Depression, he began to hold large and elaborate communion banquets and they became central rituals in the peace mission movement. The following video is a sped up version of how their banquets would be. Father Divine became a businessman and a civil rights activist. He was also a religious founder of the International Peace Missions Movement. Father Divine's wife, Edna Rose Richings, who was also known as Mother Divine, was an important player in his uh, international peace mission movement. She took over and led the movement once her husband had passed away. As the widow of the movement's leader, she continued his legacy of promoting racial equality, self-sufficiency, and the commitment to a righteous lifestyle by preaching the gospel through racial harmony and love, and she passed away at the age of 91. The Peace Mission was a cultish religious movement. He was an advocate of equal rights for all Americans, regardless of color or creed. Father Divine and his followers believed that he was the second coming of Christ. He required his followers to adhere to his international modest code, which required strict commitment to a celibate lifestyle and abstinence from immoral actions. Father Divine's peace mission remains one of the most unorthodox religious movements in America. The following video is Father Divine preaching to his followers in 1938 at the Hope Farm in Ulster County, New York. Because of graft and greed and selfishness and the impracticalness of humanity. Let us get away from those places in consciousness where men are merely surmising heaven to be something mythological and something imaginary. But bring our mythological concepts into actuality and put them into practice as a living reality. Then and only then can that which is termed religion right. The harvest is right but the laborers are few. Can you not see the mission and the calling of, of true Christianity? Regarded by many members of the traditional black church as an imposter or even a lunatic, early on he preached a message of equality among men 
and the hope of heaven on earth to black men in society. His actions got him arrested, imprisoned, and even institutionalized in a mental asylum. In 1942, Father Divine moved to suburban Philadelphia, partly to avoid paying a lawsuit from a former movement member. Under his leadership, the International Peace Missions Movement promoted the end of segregation and coordinated anti-lynching protests. He became a major figure during the Harlem Renaissance following the relocation of his Peace Mission headquarters in Harlem. There he opened residential hotels where his teachings were practiced. The hotels was an establishment where his followers could obtain food, shelter, and job opportunities, as well as spiritual and physical healing. Father Divine's Depression Era message of racial equality and economic self-sufficiency attracted people both black and white into his organization. Over 150 peace missions were launched nationwide and abroad creating living facilities and jobs for the poor. Overall, Father Divine's biggest impact was generosity for the poor, his international peace mission, his preaching and the way he spoke. He motivated his followers and made a huge impact on them. In New York's Harlem, the new squire of Elbow is better known as Father Divine whose thousands of followers loudly hail him as God on earth, whose heavens quake with the worship of his flock. <laughs>